All right, we're back with another video from Mr. Anime World. This is called Difficulty Level for the anime characters in each anime. I don't really know what difficulty level means, but I'm going to assume it's like how hard it is for people to survive. First up, oh, we watched this. Oh, we watched this like a season ago. <laughs> Remonster, perhaps one of the best openings ever in all of anime history. <laughs> I don't know the best. Definitely one of the openings ever. Um, yeah, his skills are insane because like he gets reborn as a fucking mo like a goblin, but even before then he already had ridiculous stupid powers where everything he eats like it turns into his skills. Yeah, it's pretty fucking easy. Next, Obaki, Yuji Dohama. This is the main character's dad, right? Very easy level. Considered the strongest man in the world. Oh shit. Kiyotaka Ayano Koji. Very easy level, especially after the White Room. Is it that easy? Have we ever seen Ayano Koji struggle? The only struggles that he goes through is because the tools that he has to work with are so fucking incompetent. I don't think he really struggles. I think that he's usually just kind of chilling. And we see from the perspective of other characters and might think that we're struggling, but nah. His tools are just kind of useless. He's just kind of chilling. Next, <laughs> MASH. <laughs> Easy level? Can easily be- Yeah, honestly, MASH, it's more of a joke. It, it's more of like a comedic gag, right? It's muscle magic. He just punches everything while everyone uses magic. There are some difficult opponents, but he always just- I don't know. He, he <laughs> It is pretty easy for MASH, in my opinion. Next. Oh, it's this guy again. Yo, isn't this guy's power like cheerleader? <laughs> Poco Loco! Steel Ball Run! Um, yeah, apparently his stand is, is just super lucky. He just, just cheers him on. He's like, you can do it! One Punch Man. Super easy. Yeah. Saitama. Easy level. After receiving limitless power. Did he receive it though? Or did he earn it? Saitama. I think it should be at very easy level. Like, I think that Ayana Koji struggles more than Saitama in terms of like the different... Like, challenges that I have to go through. Like, Saitama just shows up at the end of one punches. Like, Saitama should be very easy level in my opinion. Next up. Overlord. Easy level. Isekai, one of these days, guys. One day, Overlord. Ein's Wulgon. Easy level. Very strong and has many strong servants. Tensura! I don't think Rimuru is actually struggling too much, but it's definitely not just like completely brain dead easy. Right? The challenges that he goes through in season two is pretty significant. Obviously, he's gonna come out on top. It's more like the politics and the diplomacy that gets us off guard, but it's normal level. Creative mode for Rimuru, but with strongest enemies. Yeah? Creative mode for Rimuru? Yeah, he just basically just creating civilization. And the opposition faction, they are pretty strong, but he does overcome them. Next. I don't know what this is. Aidaten Deities? Aidaten Deities? Rin. Normal level. She's probably the strongest deity. I have no clue what this one is. Jojo! Kujo Jotaro. Normal level. Strong able to defeat dangerous opponents. Uh, He looks different here from what I see in part 3. Maybe a different part. Probably a different part. Oh! Everyone's favorite shonen to shit on recently. Izuku Midoriya. Finally? We're starting hard level. No longer are we on normal, easy, very easy. We're on a hard level. His abilities can kill him if he doesn't hold back. Is Deku struggling hard? I think that, like, I've seen clips where, like, obviously he can't use full power. So there's, like, this from, like, percentages, right? So, like, yeah, he can't go all out or else there's, like, huge penalties on him. Beautiful chat. We watched this one. We watched this one a long time ago in my first channel. It's a scary anime. Basically, it's just like, don't react. It, 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 the show is like, ghosts show up, and you cannot react. If you do, they'll, they'll like, realize that you see them, and they'll haunt you. So you gotta like, act like they don't exist. Next. Kaiju number eight. Kafka Hibino. Before getting powers, he could have easily out on the job. Well, what about after he got powers? The fights he does, well, in season one, obviously the monsters are not like completely endgame level yet, right? 
It's less about him struggling and other people just kind of getting fucked up and Kafka trying to figure out a way to save them in secret and... Hmm... Hard level, huh? I thought Kafka gets over his shit easy. I don't know. Next? <laughs> Mushoku Tensei. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Mushoku Tensei is pretty fucking hard. Of course, Rudy is busted, but like... It's not just the combat, right? His world is very dangerous and he could easily die, but I think that is underselling the challenges of Mushoku Tensei. It's less about the combat and more of like... The fucking world building, like the different characters we interact with, the situations that he's put into, having to choose who to save, like... For sure, right? For sure, like, there's dangerous threats, like the fucking Labyrinth Guardian, but... I would not want to be in a Mushoku Tensei world. That's not a fun world. That's It's a fucking... It, it is not fun at all. For sure, Orsted is a strong person, right? But I think, like, the challenges that Rudius go through is more than just strong people fucking him up. Next. Uzumaki Naruto. <laughs> Hard level. He had a very bad childhood. Yo, blame the fucking third Hokage, bro. His ass didn't do shit. Fucking put him in, like... Fucking the shittiest government subsidized building. Had him eat cup ramen until he grew up. Like, where, where, what happened, bro? What the fuck happened with Minato said, Hey, yo, can you take care of my kid, third Hokage? He said, for sure, bro. That was a lie. Next. Monkey D. Rufi. Yeah. 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 It's just hard. Shit is hard, man. I think, like, Sabori Islands, you know, when Kuma showed up, that was fucking peak despair. But it actually wasn't really, if you think about the whole goal of that, but that shit was fucking sad. Marine Ford was sad, right? There's a lot of sad shit happening. And Luffy having to overcome all these challenges, like, it's kind of crazy if you really take a step back and, like, deconstruct everything he had to go through and, and, and accomplish, for sure it's fucking hard. He's literally trying, he's literally going around, like, liberating nations, right? He's going around, like, liberating nations, entire fucking continents from the oppressor's rule and, like, changing the world view on pirates and the government, and it's a huge story beyond just fighting, man. Next. Danganronpa! Okay! So now we have very hard level. Hopefully a game will play one day. Makoto Naigi. Very hard level. Even with luck, he was in danger many times. This is like a... Detective murder mystery kind of show, right? Oh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, 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 Tan I would... Bro, fuck being in Demon Slayer world. Demon Slayer world is a nightmare. Who would ever want to live in Demon Slayer world, dude? The average, like, lifespan of a child is, like, 12. Fuck that shit. I would hate to live there. Very hard level. Lost his whole family and could easily die. Yup, yup, like... I... <laughs> Demon Slayer world, so hard. So it's just every day is just survival. Nope. Next. Seven Deadly Sins. I haven't seen this one. Haven't seen this one, so I'll skip. But very hard level. Tokyo Ghoul. Isn't this hair supposed to be white? Bro, some people literally call me discount Ken Kaneki looking ass. Which I can't really argue against. But, um, very hard level, huh? Um, if we're ever gonna watch Tokyo Ghoul, it's gonna be hard to do it on YouTube. There's a lot of fucking copyright issues regarding manual blockings. Like, I'm sure that you've seen, like, Tokyo Ghoul from Neil Desai. It's probably gonna be have to be Patreon exclusive. Next up, Made in the Abyss. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I totally agree. Well, I've never seen Tokyo Ghoul, so I can't really... I can't really confirm if it's hardest Made in Abyss, but I do agree that Made in Abyss should be the next fucking tier. Nightmare level? Dude. Dude. The monstrosities. The atrocities. The war crimes. The despair. Absolute hell. Just pure nightmare. Abyss. Truly Made in Abyss. This show lives up to its name. It, the horrors, the eldritch nightmares that you see, it is Made in Abyss. Fuck that show. I would... Well... Here's what I would do. I would just not go into fucking Abyss, bro. Like, maybe the Abyss is probably not too bad outside the Abyss, right? You can just fucking chill. I would never fucking enter, though. Fuck that noise. Next. Gurren Lagann. Uh, gonna skip this in case that we get spoiled of important shit. I know that a lot of people also say, watch, watch, watch. So I'm not gonna read this, but nightmare level, huh? All right. 
Future Trunks. Nightmare level. Lost all family and friends in this timeline. Yeah. What the fuck is with Dragon Ball and Future Trunks? Because, like, yeah, people die. But, like, you can get resurrected with, dra with fucking Dragon Balls. Dude, in the future? It's, like... It's hell. It's not fun anymore. It's an actual nightmare. I agree. Next. Fate. Should we read this? I'm gonna also skip Fate because one day we'll probably have to react to this. But Fate's on that Nightmare level, huh? I'm gonna skip Madoka as well. But hey, we have Future Trunks. We have this guy. And then we have Madoka Girl. I'm, I'm gonna skip this shit. I'm gonna skip this shit in case that we have to fucking go. Alright? Let's go over here. Next up. Phosphophyl... What? Phosphophyl... Is she a mineral? Hoseki no Kuni. Hell level. Being Phosphophyl is suffering. I know that this anime has a lot of CGI and shit, right? But I hear it's really good. But the story is sad. Guts? Yes. Hell level, right? The whole world is just fucking suffering. ReZero! <laughs> yeah... Is it actually thousands of times? Or do, you, do you actually get into- Is this cap? I don't really mind to know how many times, you know, a Subaru has died, but thousands of times? In the web novel, does he actually die that many times? Holy shit, yeah. ReZero is not a fun world to be in. Fuck no. Fuck no. You think that you want to be Natsuki Subaru? Hell no. I would rather be Kazuma. You know what? Put me in Konosuba. I would hate to be Natsuki Subaru because like... Dying... And having the pain end as you just turn into atoms and disappear into space... At least your suffering is done. This dude doesn't have that out. He doesn't have an exit button. He is forever stuck in this hell over and over and over. There is no, but, but then that's the doomer way to look at it. There can also be happiness, you know? For sure, you're, for feet, you're forced to loop over and over again, but doesn't mean you have to suffer all the time. You know, you can try to have fun and happy times, but yeah, there, the, the, the nightmare, the thing that would get in my psyches is like that there is no escape. That like, no matter what I do, I must continue to move forward. Doesn't matter how sad or depressed I am. Like, the world will keep fucking repeating and force me in these fucked up situations. I... I <laughs> At least, like, if you're Tanjiro, right? In Demon Slayer world, you die, you're done. You know what? That's it. And you go away. Subaru? Nah. You die? Get back in there, bitch. Let's figure this shit out. It's just pure insanity. Oh, shit. There's another... No. No. Two. Why is Index always on these lists with the crazy shit? You telling me Index is worse than ReZero? Infinite hell level as well. <laughs> well, 11D, right? <laughs> 11D, right? <laughs> JoJo's Golden Wind. Diavolo. Oh, shit. Sorry, sorry. Every time he fucking clicks, the new outro scene shows up before the video fucking ends. But Diavolo, huh? Go Golden Wind, it's that bad. Sounds like the common theme here is that everyone just fucking dies infinite amount of times, but man. ReZero? I would hate to be in ReZero world. But that's the video, guys. Please go give Mr. Anime World a like on the video. Check out his channel. And I will see y'all in the next one.